For those of you who are dairy free and don't want to drink cold brew coffee straight up, Stumptown has a solution for you. And it's called Stumptown Cold Brew with Coconut Cream. Well, actually it just says coconut at the top. But what they're using here is coconut cream in conjunction with their wor world famous cold brew coffee and some natural cane sugar. So to me that sounds delicious. To people who are trying to watch their calorie count and fat intake, maybe not so much. It says 150 grams, or sorry, 150 calories, 10 grams of fat, and serving size, size per container is two sugars, 13 grams. So, hey guys, if you want to treat yourself, then this may be for you. One thing I'm going to whine about right off the bat as I shake this vigorously is the price. This was $5 at Whole Foods. Good lord. I'll pay $4, which is a stretch, but $5 is a little rich for my blood. But let's see how it tastes. Maybe I'll be convinced otherwise once I try it. nice and thick it smells like it smells like old coffee it's not a good smell sorry but just being honest all right bottoms up mmm wow we I got a, a nice little chunk of coconut cream right off the bat Oh my god. Okay. Take back everything I said. That is absolutely delicious. Um, oh, it's like so creamy in the, the cold brew coffee. Like the coffee element hits you right away. It's like a, an iced latte almost, but... 10 times more delicious. And it's got these like little chunks of coconut cream. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Like I, I guess it probably blends more the more you shake it. Um, they warn you that um, because it's a fresh product, natural separation will occur. So shake well and you will be pleasantly rewarded. Mm. Okay, so I think that... Okay, so I've tried almost, I think, all of the Stumptown cold brew options. And if you have a sweet tooth, I'm going to say that this is my new favorite. So it goes this one, then the Stumptown cold brew with milk. That one is so delicious also. And probably, I don't know how the nutrition facts compare, but I, I imagine it's a little bit lower on the calorie count and um, the fat count, but um, not by much, I'd imagine. And after that, I think the straight cold brew is fantastic. If you really want to know what cold brew coffee tastes like, then that is the one that you should get. In fact, I would recommend doing that before you get into any of this sugary mess. But if you want to treat yourself, then this is my go-to option. The ones that I would skip are um, the winter cheer, meh, the nitro, meh. Uh, the chocolate one is borderline for me. I don't think it's better than this one, and I don't think it's better than the Stumptown Cold Brew with Milk. So those are the ones I'd recommend trying, and this, this is a perfect, perfect score in terms of taste for me. 
Um, availability, it's probably going to come along to your Whole Foods soon enough. And other grocery stores too, I believe. And the last thing is um, price. That's the one area that this really falls short for me. $5 is very expensive, but if you're already spending $5 on a nice latte at your local Starbucks or whatever, skip that and get this if you have the option to and stock up on your in your fridge because it's delicious. Cheers. That once again, before I cheers you, is Stumptown Cold Brew Coffee with Coconut. Specifically coconut cream. All right, so if you like this review, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, let me know what you didn't like, what you disagree with or agree with. And as always, subscribe.